So it's the winter solstice. The tracking gate is continued to work. Um, it's one of those light breezes and very hazy sort of sky today. The turbine's tootling away and hopefully we can just get the sun. There it is, just above the workshop. So it's pretty low and because of the weather conditions it's sort of typical-ish. It's not a mega bright day and blowing a gale, um, but it's not pouring and rain as grey as a grey thing. So as we can see, we've got the solar boom there moving round of its own accord. Can't quite tell whether it's moving at the moment, but it looks like it. And then there's another set of panels behind that. And another set there. So we've got plenty of generation. So well, let's go and have a look in the battery shed and see what it's doing. So here we are in the battery shed. Now the solar, what's it doing? Come on, focus. About 25 amps. Something like that. So therefore that would be uh, just over 2 kilowatt. And what's the turbine doing? about 5 amps because it's a light breeze but the solar is doing very well now I've got a um, digital clamp meter so I'm going to use that to show fairly exact figures so here's the digital clamp meter it's an ISO tech so I'm just going to put it onto DC amps. So let's have a look at the turbine. Well, the wind's dropped a bit, so the turbine is showing six amps, seven amps, eight, and you can hear the fan on the inverter running now because the loads come on it. Because we've got a load on the inverter, let's just see what that's drawing. There's the positive. Thirty amps, one and a half kilowatt. So the load's gone off that uh, the inverter now. So let's just see what it shows uh, 2 amps that sort of background with uh, um, a few lights maybe the uh, the boiler computer um, what have you and it'll go up a bit if say the fridge or freezer comes on and then of course big loads uh, will uh, draw a lot more current so there's the solar showing a little bit more and let's just go and check what the solar actually is so it shows 25 put 26 and whilst we're here this cable here is the main battery cable so we've got a combination of solar and wind less any consumption on the inverter and there we go let's see if I can just zoom in on that a bit better there we go wind and solar together And it's just getting dark. There's the battery shed. 
and just to state the obvious the turbine's still whizzing away handheld camera so a bit wobbly that's the wind amp meter and it's typical when you just start filming it the wind drops off a bit and it's about 10 amps at the moment drifting from 5 but at least it's still charging and it might charge all night. <laughs> 